Hello and welcome to EQ International Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today we have Mr. Rahul Bhutani with us from Adani Solar. A very warm welcome to EQ, sir. Thank you, Isha. Thank you. Uh, sir, can you just let us know about Adani, like into the solar industry, what's your projects and what are the products you have come up here and brief about Adani into the solar industry especially. Okay. So, Adani Solar is now about uh, a four years old uh, company. We've been in the solar industry manufacturing cells and modules. Uh, we have a current capacity of about 1.5 gigawatts uh, per annum. Uh, we've, we're selling in the, uh, you know, the Indian market. We've also been into exports in the U.S. specifically. And uh, amongst the larger players in the Indian industry, we are the largest integrated uh, solar cell and module manufacturer. We're also looking at an expansion plan. So come December, we should be ready with our new line of 2 gigawatts additional over and above the 1.5 gigawatts that we have. So we should be about 3.5 gigawatts of uh, capacity by December. And uh, in the current expansion, we are looking at the uh, new age technology and the higher bin wattage uh, modules. So we will be launching with 535, 540 uh, watt peak modules. And slowly we will add on to our product portfolio and we will also have uh, very soon uh, modules of 600 plus uh, watt peak also. So that's about Arani Solar for you. And if we talk about the Indian uh, solar industry, so how you find, find it like uh, how it will be challenging or what are the opportunities we have like as the uh, international brands also coming up in India and they are setting up and uh, even they are joining with the uh, Indian manufacturers. So uh, in terms of modules uh, especially, so how it will be? Uh, see, the market uh, that we have in India and world over is significant and significantly large as compared to what capacities we have created in India. In fact, even today, there is a lot of import that's happening in India. What we believe is as uh, the time progresses and as Indian manufacturers step up, step up their capacities, we will have enough of uh, production uh, to meet the demand that is there. Uh, for example, if the demand is X, currently we're producing only maybe one, one third of X in India. So we have a significant potential to grow the business in India. And uh, given the government's very aggressive targets for the next 10 years, till 2030 we want to do renewable energy target of over 440 gigawatts. Uh, I think we have a very significant opportunity in front of us for all of us in the solar industry, whether it's module manufacturers or it's cell and module manufacturers, there is a huge potential available. International players are welcome and uh, if they set up manufacturing bases here, uh, it's good, it brings in more competition, it brings in more, uh, you know, everybody becomes a little more active in terms of delivery, in terms of customer satisfaction and that's good for the industry and the consumer both. And uh, can you share the roadmap of the pricing and the technology uh, you have come in 2021 and what's your target for 2022 as well? So 2021 has been a very challenging year, uh, especially with a lot of, of course, the pandemic uh, overshadowing everything. And uh, that has resulted in a lot of supply chain, uh, you know, problems, uh, especially imports. So a lot of the import, even for a player like us, we are dependent on China for uh, wafers. We manufacture cells, but the wafers that go into manufacturing the cells come from China. With logistics going through a turmoil in China right now and uh, of course prices going through a very uh, big upheaval in the last uh, one year, uh, pricing has been you know, very choppy and a uh, lot of it beyond control of the uh, manufacturers. But I think uh, as the industry matures, we should see more stability in terms of pricing, in terms of logistics being ironed out. So maybe the year forward, we should be having more stability in the pricing. Uh, good thing for uh, all of us is that uh, opportunity in terms of the market size, the demand that exists in the market, that is going nowhere and that is something that uh, we all can look forward to. And uh, if you talk about the uh, exports of uh, Adani itself, so what, what are your plans? So if you can just highlight uh, more briefly on Sure. With the launch of our new line in December, uh, we will be aggressively looking at exports too. Uh, some of the good markets uh, continue to be the US, Canada, Europe, a uh, lot of African markets are opening up. So we do intend to look at exports very seriously and are putting together an export strategy too. 
and uh, there is opportunity for Indian manufacturers in the export market, especially in the U.S., uh, since they have, you know, clamped down on a lot of uh, regions in China, which are, uh, you know, for questionable reasons, and uh, uh, therefore, uh, you know, U.S. customers are looking towards Indian manufacturers a lot more than they would have uh, in the past. So there is a good opportunity for Indian manufacturers in the exports too. And uh, like, uh, if you talk about the you know set targets by the government, so how? What's your view on that? Would it be achievable? Like uh, after you know ups and downs we are seeing in the industry, so how it will be? So uh, uh, you know, it's a it's a very good question. Uh, we've set a target for 2022. Uh, we may not achieve it. Uh, we've set a more aggressive target for 2030. Uh, going by the current numbers. It looks like a tough one, but I guess the government also is uh, do, taking all the right steps, putting all the pieces together to ensure that the step up in terms of achievement on a year-on basis, year-on-year -year basis, that improves and that uh, should take us uh, closer to the target numbers. So I guess the government is putting in place all the steps that are needed for the uh, numbers to be met. And we are hopeful, we, you know, in fact, all our plans are directed towards that. Uh, so, uh, I think by 2030, even if we don't uh, hit 100% of the target, if we aim for the stars, we'd at least not hit the dust. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks a lot for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. And best of luck. Thank you.